Hey, what's up guys? It's Andrew, back with another mobile gadget video. And today we're gonna to be talking about the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus versus the iPhone X. So let's get started with this video. I think the best way that we can decide which phone is better is simply by breaking it down into a few different sections. The first of these sections being the design. And definitely you could say that the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus and the iPhone X have very different designs. One difference is that both of these phones have a different way of going about the display. Though both displays basically cover the whole device, the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus has a display that goes edge to edge, while the iPhone X has a display that goes from top to bottom. So for the iPhone X, you have bezels at the notch, and then for the S8 Plus, you have bezels on the top and the bottom. Personally, I think the iPhone X does it a little bit better as it has a very recognizable image. When you take a look at the phone, you know it's an iPhone X. From the back of the phone, the designs for both of these are beautiful. The overall, the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus has a really, really nice design that fits really well in the hand. The iPhone X, on the other hand, also feels really great in the hand and feels really premium. The camera placement on the iPhone X is in the top left corner, while with the S8 Plus, it's going to be in the middle of the phone next to the fingerprint sensor. I think one of the major problems with the S8 Plus is that having the fingerprint sensor so close to the camera could cause some issues as every time you try to use the fingerprint sensor, you might be touching the camera. Another part of the design is the bottom of the phone, and that's where we're gonna see our ports to charge the phones and also the headphone jack. For the iPhone X, there is no headphone jack, which I kind of wish there was, while on the S8 Plus, there is. For charging, you're gonna be using the lightning cable for the iPhone X, and for the S8 Plus, you're gonna be using the USB-C. Personally, in this department, I think the S8 Plus has the iPhone beat hands down, because USB-C is so much more versatile, and the headphone jack is just something important that I think we still need on smartphones today. As for the display of the both phones, they're both awesome and have OLED displays, and I definitely would say that both of them are really good. Even though the S8 Plus might have a more pixel dense and bigger display, um, the iPhone X display is really true to life and looks really awesome when you use it. Another aspect of the design, which both phones really share in common, is the power button on the side. Um, it's also used as a big speed button on the S8 Plus, while on the iPhone X, it's used as a Siri button. And finally, you would think that both of these phones would have home buttons, but in fact, neither one of them do. On the bottom of the iPhone X, you'll find a touch bar where you can use gestures in order to get back home, while on the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, it's really just a virtual home button, which you press and you get haptic feedback in order to go home. Now, moving on to the cameras, both of these phones have really, really awesome cameras. I think with the top of the line smartphones, you're gonna find that most cameras on the front and the back are stellar. For the iPhone X, it has a really awesome back camera. I'd say that when you're using it for video or photos, you're gonna find that it works really well. For the S8 Plus, while I'm not more accustomed to it, I'd say it works really awesome when you know how to use it. One department that the iPhone X does have the S8 Plus speed in is the 4K capabilities. iPhone X can film in 4K 60 frames, while the S8 Plus cannot. This may not be important to you, but it's just a difference to know. I'd say that overall for these cameras, you're gonna find that the S8 Plus has a bit more saturated images, while the iPhone X has a more true to life image. Now, depending on what you like, that's really what you should go with. Personally, I think the iPhone camera is better just because it has more true to life images. Another important aspect of a great smartphone is the power. Comparing the iPhone X and the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus performance in terms of power is not really easy to compare. I'd say that working with the iPhone X on iOS works really well, and working with the S8 Plus, it's gonna speed through Android. Both of these devices are definitely powerful smartphones, and I don't think you're gonna find any problems with using either one. Another difference to note between these two devices is the speaker system. For the iPhone X, it has a speaker on the top and also a speaker on the bottom of the phone. For the S8 Plus, there's only one speaker at the bottom. In this category, I think the iPhone X has a better speaker, but that's just personally my opinion as it seems a bit louder and it just sounds better overall. So as you can see with both of these devices, you're getting a great smartphone. However, what I think really separates these two devices is the platforms that they run on. That is iOS and Android. These two different platforms have really separated the smartphone industry. You've probably chosen either iOS or Android. So really what it comes down to comparing these two devices is which platform you like better. If you like iOS and you like all the applications and you like being in the ecosystem of Apple, then the iPhone X is definitely something you'd want to purchase. 
For the S8 Plus, if you like the Android ecosystem and you also like all the features that Samsung includes in their devices, then you definitely wanna go with Android. This is definitely the key difference between these two devices. If both of these devices were running Android, I might say that the Samsung S8 Plus were the best, were the better smartphone. Because Apple is able to optimize so many applications and their phones so well on iOS, I'd say the iPhone 10 works really, really well. I, that's why I'd say it's the best Apple phone I've ever used. It's really up to you as to which device you wanna use. Personally, I'd go with the iPhone 10, but that's just because I like Apple. One final difference between these two devices is the price. And this is really a major, major key difference between these two phones. You have a $1,000 price tag, while with the S8 Plus you have a much lower price, which I think is a lot more suitable for most customers. While both phones aren't cheap, you definitely can tell that the iPhone 10 costs more money. If your budget is really important, then maybe the S8 Plus is the better option. But for paying maybe $200 more for the iPhone 10, it might actually be worth it. And in my case, I think it is worth it to pay a little bit more for an awesome smartphone in Apple's ecosystem. I've kind of come to a conclusion about both of these devices. And I can't say that either one is better or worse, but what I can say is that in certain aspects, one phone is better than the other. What I mean is that the camera on the iPhone, personally, I think is better, while with the specifications on the S8 Plus, I think those are better. If you're trying to decide between these two phones, ask yourself which ecosystem you think is better for you. Making that decision makes the options really clear and it narrows it down as to which phone you want to use. Thanks guys for watching another Mobile Gadget video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. I'm Andrew from Mobile Gadget, and remember to follow us on Twitter at MobileGOnline.